That's it. Okay. Let's say. Okay. Some wear say. <clears throat> and then obviously if you remember fuel cap. Yeah. Fuel cap. Pull on the passenger side. What's that? There's a rubber thing here. Uh, it's just a cover. It's just oh. covering the um, the bottom of the tank. It can be some of them. You can have uh, onboard gas tanks. Oh, so okay. rather than having gas, it can have a gas. So that I would imagine where you'd fill in your okay. fill in for your gas. But obviously yours is just the diesel. Yeah, that's okay. Fine. Yeah, perfect. And that's really about it for the outside. Yep. So we're ready. We'll jump inside and go through the inside. I don't know where you want to keep your awning handle. The gibbons here for now. Yeah. Right. Yes, it's so much nicer than the other one we've had. Yeah. We had some customers yesterday actually, they'd bought a, a Sprite and um, they've come back and swapped it for another Sprite but just a totally different layout. And they were so over the moon with it, they were yeah. so happy. Yeah. But then when I looked in their other one, it was a funny old, uh, funny old layout. It was yeah. the same as your one, so they had to make the beds up where they've got oh. one with a fixed bed then. Yeah. And they, oh, they were over the moon, yeah. over the moon. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't go for a fixed bed because we oh, had a fixed we, bed in the in the caravan. Yeah, but that was on an island, so you can get around it. You know, around it. But this one, this you one. had to crawl yeah. in and crawl out. So, but this is this is lovely. And I've never climbed up there, but I'm sure we're fit enough. Yes, well, if you remember up there, obviously you got your ladders as well. Yeah. yeah. So it pulls down. So you got your ladders upstairs, and then obviously this is the the net which you can pop up. To stop yeah. falling out of bed. So if you've had a, a few too many pinos and you feel a bit wobbly on your feet, you can put the crash bat up and at least you'll only, you'll only fall to where you yeah. not to day near you. That's it's good that. Yeah, that's nice. That's that's great. It's good as well if you've got kiddies that are up there, they wouldn't fall out. Yeah, as well. yeah. I think that's the main yeah, design really of it. And then obviously when you don't want it, just, just simply push it up out of the way. Yeah, Brilliant. gives you headroom then, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we know all about that. Yeah. We, Cause Obviously, it, figured it all out ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. perfect. Obviously, you've got your lovely reverse camera now. Did, was the other one did have a reverse yeah. camera? No, it didn't actually. So, that's right. in the mirror, isn't so it? So, with your reverse camera, I will show you. Put the easy thing to do. Oh, get your photo, make sure you get this. That's going to go down the engine there to it while he's showing you now because uh, the window would be hanging around while they look at it after he's finished. Oh, only that water pipe in. Yeah, whatever it yeah, is. It's, yeah, something needs tightening up. Yeah, well, get if some. he can get him now. Yeah, yeah, I'll him. ask him. I, I really have... like this compared to the other one. <gasps> look at that Second. end, which I thought was small. Owen, oh, while we were doing this, yes. can you get your engineer to look at that? Waste oh, water pipe, yeah, save time. For time. <clears throat> look at that end, it's fabulous, isn't it? Yes. To that bed. Going to have to ask him where all the other one had all bits and pieces, isn't it? This hasn't got it. What bits and pieces? With extra cushions. In, in the, in the cup. Are they in here? Oh. Which we can leave at home. You only need it if you want extra. Oh yes. Okay. I'll ask him to tell me about that. Hey. I bet we gave him those um, things back. Which ones? We should have kept them. Those little cushions. No, not the cushions. The the, the, the bungs that you put under your weight, we have to see. No, I didn't give it to them. The, the levelers. That was good timing. Yeah. I just called the boss man. He gave us some for the other camera. Yeah, I've got it. He didn't send them back. Clever you. Right. Got an adjustable spanner. We just squeeze it. If you remember all your electrics and everything through the van are underneath the front seat here. Yeah. That may be where the problem's coming from. Let's have a look. So, if you remember, there, the black one in the corner. Okay. So, we move to the back. So, it's a bit of a tricky seat, but we'll... So, if you remember, so this is your, your water boiler yeah. and your water heating system. Yeah. Drainage. Okay, what I want... Hmm? The truth of it is, you won't fit in there. I know what it is. <laughs> hey, come on, you'd fit in there. No worries, it's a nice big show where the buds are. I must admit, it'd be a bit of a squeeze for me in there, so... <laughs> oh, now, what I wanted to know is, yeah. in that last motorhome we had, yeah. there was a lot of extra bits of... Uh, cushions. Cushions. What the cushions are for is when you make the beds up, mm. you'll find those odd silly little gaps. Yeah. And if yeah. you ever find a silly little gap, 
That's what the grey cushions are for. Yeah. I've learned that now. I've seen all sorts from little thin wafer things to big chunky yeah, they were blocks. Huge and things. That. Yeah, it's all for when you're making the beds up. What you'll find is when you make the beds up and turn the cushions over, yeah. you will have a little crazy silly gap. I know I the ones in I here. That's woman's short. Are the long yes, ones? No, exactly. Yeah, what you mean? Uh, and something pulls out that way, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah. there'll be more than likely, as daft as it is, it'll be something along the lines of somewhere there. Yeah. You get what I mean? So when you've got the bed made up, there will be a little small gap. It's like playing Jenga, it is. Yeah, and so or, you, or you, fit, you fit them in. Yeah, yeah. yeah so see. when you pull that out, what goes on top of those bars? So you it, literally turn turn your cushions over. These are. Um, obviously, you've got your back ones here, but if you notice, you've got one there and one there, but nothing across the back there. Yeah. yeah. So there'll be a small gap. Yeah. Which that one will fill your gap. Okay. It's always easy to remember that the grey ones are the gap fillers. Yeah, okay. So when you've, when you've turned over all your main cushions and yeah. you've made your bed up, whatever gap you've got, <coughs> that's what the grey is for. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's only a few in this, so there's a lot. But, but yeah, but lucky you've really yeah. got these two. I've seen yeah. one with six in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they were huge ones. Yeah. Uh, big, big as that. That's your table, and yeah, yeah that's fine. So if you remember your table, obviously your post. That, that table only sits there. This is as big as this table comes, isn't it, this one? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah that's, that's it at the front. And then do you remember about your directional TV area? Yeah, I noted that, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. perfect. Okay. This, is, this is the top of the table, isn't it? Have you got the, the, the nuts and screws that go into the TV in here? They're, they're, yeah, they're all in the box they're there, the so all, box. Your, all your extra accessories oh, yeah. and everything are all okay. in there. And does that lift up, or is it, the, or is there something else on the screw down? Screw down. Screw down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's it's a, a, an access panel, um, obviously for the rear wheels. If so it, if, if, it was if it's it's more for a mechanic and things yeah, like that, so okay, they've got access then. access right. okay. over the top. You that's love brilliant. your TV bracket. I don't know if you've seen your TV. Yes, bracket. I have. So obviously there's a lovely little pull pin there. So you yeah. just pull the pin out, and then that frees the arm up. Then, so then obviously right. you're fully adjustable to which way round you want your telly, yeah. telly facing. Okay. And then obviously when you're driving, you can just lock it. lift it up and lock it back So the down. TV screen can stay on that, can it? Yeah, yeah, you can leave the TV on. What you can it. do, if you've got a bigger telly, yeah. you, obviously it's fine with a bigger telly. If you see there's little grub screws in the end yeah. here, same on the other side. What you can do is undo them and you can literally slide it out. So if you wanted to put a, a slightly bigger telly on there, yeah. you could just simply slide it on and off when you're using it. Obviously when you're not using it, just lift it off and put it flat down. Flat. Flat right. down on That's fine, yeah. That's okay. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right, heating systems. Should we yes. move down onto your heating? Yeah. You, you need that. that. You need that. Yeah. I can't that. Right, so if you remember the lovely Hang roller. Oh. Okay. It's recording. It is now. That's it. No, it's a pause now. Yeah, no, that's it to pause it now. If you look, the time's going down on the other side. Oh. Right, so if you remember, it's. Click. So I need to press to get the red button, don't I? No, that's it, yeah, it's recording it. now. Yeah, it's recording now. Okay. So if you remember, you click it first of all, and that wakes the screen up. So you probably can't see on the camera, but no. if you remember, you've got the little flashing yeah. van, which is for your heating system. So all you do is click on it again, and then you can set the thermostat to whatever temperature you want it at. Obviously, when you've set it, it's just click it again. Right. And then if you go again, this is your hot water. So obviously, hot water's off at the minute, and then we've got eco, hot, or boost. Okay. So eco is um, 40 degrees for your water, hot is 60 degrees and then also the boost mode is for, for prime example, the young lady's been in the shower and taken all the hot water, what you can do is come onto here, click it onto boost yeah. and then that what will do is in the heating yeah. element itself, it takes all the power away or virtually all the power away from the heating and concentrates all its power onto the hot water so it speeds up the process of, right. uh, of your hot so water. So at the moment it's working on gas? At, at the minute I've got it running on gas. Gas? Yeah. But you can also work it off electric. Yeah, so if you look on this, so this one was the little bottle with the lightning bolts, yeah. and you can run it on either gas, gas and electric one, gas and electric two, electric one, or electric two. Okay. So do you remember what I said about the electric? So one and two is a bit like grandma's old electric fires, so electric one is one bar, electric two is the two bars, so it's either right. one kilowatts or two kilowatts. So it's, it's the power input that's going to the, um, the boiling system. Yeah. Obviously, the, the higher power that's in there, the quicker your heating system will, will work up. So, obviously, the most powerful way, so if it's deepest, darkest winter, and it's really cold outside and you want to heat your van up, the quickest way is mix two. So, that's obviously gas 
and two kilowatts of electric. Oh. So that's the most power that the boiler can get right. to for it to heat up. But what you'll find is, especially this time of the year, you'll be fine just on electric one. Okay. Okay. Our only advice with this is all of the systems in here are designed to run on gas first and electric second. But obviously everyone runs on electric because you pay for it and you've, mm. well, you use what you pay for. Yeah. But um, we would recommend at least once a month or occasionally run it on gas. And then you know if you're anywhere where you lose all your power, you know you're happy that you can get heating, hot water, okay. and obviously your fridge and everything will work on the gas power as well. So you know you're not Got stuck yeah. without anything. So then obviously the last one across the top is the little fan symbol. So when you click on the fan symbol, this is obviously the air blower for the, for the hot air system. So it's either eco, high, mm -hmm. and there is boost as well on here, if you remember the boost. Yeah. Um, I won't let me go on to boost here now because the temperature's too high, if you get what I mean, in here. But if it's deepest, darkest winter and you've cranked your heating up to 30 degrees, if you go along to your fan on the end, instead of just the two, it'll let you pick the third one, which is boost. That's the same as your hot water system, but what it does is take the power away from your hot water and puts all its effort into the, into the heating system. So that's the, okay. the most powerfulest way you can raise the temperature up if you are. So if you've been out, say, and it's really cold, you can come and put your fans onto boost, and then that what will do, it will just instantly bring the temperature up in the barrel for you. Okay. Yep. So if you remember the next one down the bottom now. Timer. Yeah, so that's your timer, so it's start, stop, uh, whether you want your heating on, what temperature you want your heating on, again your water, what temperature you want your water on, uh, and then what power select as well. So okay. it's just self-explanatory, you just put in the that's times okay. all the way through and then you can use the timer. Next one across is, it says if I get the right one, it's just setting the clock. So what time are we now? I might as well set your clock. To, oh, it's 15, is it 24 yeah. o'clock? Yeah. It's 15.14. Look at that, 1514. Look at that, superb. So that's your clock done. So the last one now is the little spanner in the bottom corner. So we'll click on the spanner. Offset is the first one. So this is where if you've got your temperature, your thermostat up to 30 degrees and you feel it's not quite warm enough, um, you can offset the thermostat up or down a few degrees to, to change the thermostat to your likings. Uh, obviously, the next one's temperature. You can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Brightness, so this alters the brightness of the screen. Yeah. And 12 or 24 hour clock, obviously we're on 24 hour, but you can change it to 12. Yeah, we were 24. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then language, if you speak French or German. Not English. <laughs> Index just brings the code up for the unit. So if you do ever have any um, issues and you're talking to someone on the phone, they may ask you for the index number. So all you need to do is just click on that one and then the good old reset. So the same as your mobile phone, your laptop, yeah, Sky default. TV, everything. <laughs> if you have any problems, you can just hit the reset button and all it will actually do will shut everything down and then just reboot everything right. to get it started again. But then you've got to put the settings in again, have you? No, no because it all, it will literally do, all it will literally do is just blank all of that. The only thing you'd have to redo again is if you did, if you had a timer set. Oh, okay. So if you've got the timer set, you'd just have to redo the timer. Right. Okay. That's fine. Obviously, the only other thing to look out for is the little black plug. See the little black plug where my finger yeah. is there? Mm -hmm. That's just indicating that we're plugged into the 240. So n nine out of ten times, if that symbol isn't there, it's because the little orange button isn't on, on the consumer unit down there. Okay. So obviously, you just need to make, make sure you check you can see the little, uh, little black plug. Right. And then if you remember, when it's just on the normal screen there, so it'll flash up between the time and the temperature, what you can do is just adjust the thermostat to whatever temperature you want. So you don't have to, once your heating system's on, you can simply just turn the dial like you do at home to adjust your heating system. So if it's anything like my house, the missus is turning it up that way, and I'm walking it in and I'm turning it back down that way. Yeah, okay. So that's just a quick function for you to uh, <coughs> yeah. adjust the temperature. And then if you remember across the top, so the flame, everything indicates what it is underneath. So the flame indicates for your heating, so it means your heating's on. Same again, a little thermometer and the thermometer at the top. When they're flashing, it means they're coming up to temperature. Energy select shows us again that we're on lightning strike, so we know we're on electric one. And then fan speed shows that we're on eco because it's just got the one black dot in there. Yep. That's okay. Good. Fine. Happy with that? Yeah. Perfect. We'll but obviously, here. carbon monoxide. No one's got sensitive ears. So that's your carbon monoxide. And then obviously, yeah. Uh, Smoke detector as well. Right. Oh, that's it. 
But you needn't, needn't do anything with this. No, no, they just sit there. They're the same as you want at home. It may start beeping at some point to let you know a battery needs changing, but you won't yeah. need to worry about that, not for a long time yet. No. Okay. A long time. That's good.